Pronghorn Pronghorns are the only remaining member of the Antilochopridae family. They can run up to 65 miles per hour, making them the fastest North American land mammal. The hair shaft on pronghorns is hollow, which keeps them insulated in freezing climates. Pronghorns usually give birth to one or two babies, called fawns, who can outrun humans when they are just two days old. When Lewis and Clark first wrote about this animal, it is estimated that there were about 3.5 million, but that number has been reduced to 800,000, which is still better than the 13,000 believed to have been alive in 1915. Pronghorn Scientific Name The scientific name of the pronghorn is Antilocopra americana. The first part of the word Antilocopra, Antilo, means antelope while the second part, Copro, means male goat. Some scientists do not believe that pronghorns should be in their own family. Some argue that they should be classified as members of the Bovidae family, including bison, African buffalo, water buffalo, and antelopes. Others say that they should be classified as members of the Cervidae family, including members of the deer family. Recent DNA testing indicates that they are closely related to members of the Giraffidae family, which includes giraffes and Ocopus pronghorn appearance. Pronghorns weigh between 90 and 130 pounds, with a very few bucks reaching 150 pounds. Females weigh about 10% less than bucks. Bucks usually are between 52.7 and 58.8 inches long while does are between 50.5 and 58.5 inches long. The tail on both sexes is between 3.5 and 5.5 inches long. The upper body and outer part of the pronghorn's legs are light to reddish tan. This animal has white on its chest stomach, inner legs, cheeks, lower jaw, and sides. It also has a large circular white patch on its rump. While most of the white blends in very well with the rest of the body, this animal's two white blazes across its throat stand out. Bucks also have a black band from their eyes to their snouts and a black neck patch. This animal looks like it is wearing artificial eyelashes because they are absolutely black and very long. Pronghorns may not develop horns and sheaths until they are three years old. About 70% of does have horns that can be up to 3.9 inches long. Alternatively, bucks have horns that can be up to 20 inches long. These wire-shaped horns cure slight backward, and they are branched. Each horn has one small tip that points straight upward while the rest of the horn points towards the animal's back. The horns have a bony interior and a keratinous sheath. The horns and the sheath are shed annually after mating season. The hair shafts on the pronghorn are hollow. Additionally, this animal has a short mane. The hairs on the mane are between 2.8 and 3.9 inches long and may stand straight up. The pronghorn has enormous eyes that are capable of seeing movement up to 4 miles away. The eyes allow the animal to see almost a 300 degree view without moving its head. Each of the eyes is nearly 1.4 inches in diameter, which is the largest of any North American hoofed mammal compared to its size. Pronghorns have pointed double hooves. Each hoof has cartilage in the middle. The front hooves are larger than the back hooves. Pronghorns reproduction and life cycle. Sexual maturity occurs in males at 12 months, but most will not breed until they are 24 months old. Maturity occurs in females at 16 months. Bucks go through a three-week riding period. In the northern part of their geographical area, this normally happens in September and later in the southern part. Gestation lasts between 245 and 255 days. Most fawns in a herd are born within about 10 days of each other. They will weigh between 7 and 9 pounds. After the first time, most pronghorns give birth to twins. Most pronghorns live to be 8 to 10 years old. They are weaned at about 5 months. They will not reach their full weight for about 5 years. Pronghorn Population There are approximately 700,000 pronghorns left in the wild. While the population remains strong in Wyoming, that is not the case in the rest of their territory. As their territory becomes more fragmented, the total number continues to decline.